Okay, hi everybody. I'd like to walk you through how to solve a, a permutation equation that looks something like this. Uh, the first thing we want to do is um, apl apply the definition of a permutation here, okay, where we know that uh, npr is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial. Now, another way of thinking about that is it's the, it's the left side permute the right side, okay? means the left side factorial over the left side minus the right side factorial. At least that's how we're going to think about it here. So here, NP4 is going to be the left side factorial over left side minus right side factorial. Okay, here it'll be 28 times. Now this is a little bit more complicated, but the left side here is N minus 1. So it's N minus 1 factorial over the left side minus the right side. So it's going to be left side minus the right side factorial. So that's why it's n minus 1 minus 2 down here in the denominator. Okay, so now we will just run through quickly and simplify that and it becomes n minus 3 factorial down there in the denominator. Now typically that's that's where we tend to lose people. Um, going from here to here tends to be a little bit more confusing, but hopefully you, you see the connection with that to the definition. Now it's just a matter of expanding the factorial term in each uh, fraction here that's larger. So n factorial will be larger than n minus 4 factorial, so we'll expand that out. And we'll get n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. Oh. Finally, here it is, n minus 4 factorial, and that's what I was hoping for because I know that I can, I can divide those out. Uh, it's still a little big, but not quite so big on the other side here. Now, remember, n minus 1 is going to be bigger than n minus 3, so I'm going to expand the numerator to be n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. Good, that's what I was looking for. And then again, I can divide those out, which is wonderful. Now, I notice that on either side, there's shared factors, n minus 1, n minus 2. And so when you simplify that all down, I get that n times n minus 3 is equal to 28. Now, at this point, right now, I know that the answer must be 7. Now, the reason I know that is because, without even looking at the quadratic that I've got here, is because this is telling me that a number multiplied by 3 less than that number is equal to 28. Well, when I think of the factors of 28, the first ones that come into my mind are 7 and 4. 7, and then a number 3 less than it, 4. The product of those is 28. I mean, it just works. Just knowing the factors of 28 and realizing that these numbers here are going to be natural numbers uh, makes that really easy. Now, if you don't see that, then you expand that out bring the 28 over, okay, whoops, sorry about that, and this becomes a quadratic, so a math 20 question, and I end up asking the same question, what are the two factors of 28 that differ by 3? Well, so n is equal to either 7 or negative 4, and in this chapter we don't, uh, we don't work with negatives or fractions, so the answer here must be 7. And that's how you would work uh, through that kind of a problem.